Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to this very very special video and sweeties, boy oh boy, you will not regret watching this. Sweeties, I promise you, just watch and you will see why because I have something to tell you and I have something to show you because today I'm going to do a first impression with this little palette. This is the Pickle palette from Sugar Drizzle, sweeties. <laughs> This is the cutest thing. Like seriously, this is so, so cute. Let me just read this for you. Uh, paint me green and call me a pickle because I'm done dilling with you. <laughs> as I can. Anyway, so this, it comes with a sleeve. It's a six pan palette. It's really, really tiny. It is usually not what I do. Six pan palettes, not really, but this one, sweeties, plus I have worked with Sugar Drizzle beforehand and I really, really like the formula. And then I saw this color scheme and also like the theme. It's just so cute and original and I loved it. So anyway, it comes in a sleeve. The ingredients are on the sleeve and the back of the actual palette is plain. I have been working with it so it's dirty you know so anyway and then of course the palette looks like this sweeties so so cool you have duochromes in the palette you have shimmers in the palette you have two mattes in the palette and it is such a sweet little thing you know such a sweet little thing so we are going to of course work with this palette today I'm going to create this look here on camera I'm going to cry or almost just giving you a fair warning because I'm going to tell you a story that is very very close to my heart and I just feel when I sat down here this morning because of course I filmed this look previously so um, uh, when I sat down this morning I just knew that someone out there needs to hear this story because I feel like I need this story every single day of my life okay it is a very very inspirational story and no matter what your background is I think you can take something away from this besides that of course you're going to see the performance of this palette you're going to see my performance which is eh, you know <laughs> Anyway, and besides that, of course, you're also going to see this palette swatched out. And if you're watching till the end of the video, there's going to be a short review part for the first impression. You know, for what it's worth, it's just a first just a first impression, but it is also a very small palette. So I figured, you know, I'm going to use all the shades in the palette for this look. So, you know, anyway, that is that. If you've just found me and after almost three minutes, you're still watching. Sweetie, hi, I'm Leora. I'm a makeup artist and stylist and I'm living for colorful makeup and colorful styling. As you might be able to see, I'm living also for indie brands. I am considering myself the ambassador of indie brands and that is basically where my heart is and what I'm doing here, mostly featuring indie brands and also in addition to that, the smaller indie brands that maybe don't have so much of a platform because some small indie brands already kind of have a name, you know, and they're shown and a lot of YouTubers have picked them up. But it is kind of funny how, um, how small smaller indie brands that maybe don't have been shown everywhere yet are kind of coming to me. Now Sugar Drizzle is kind of on the way up already I have the feeling because they have been coming out with a couple of really really cool releases and I think this is one of the brands that's gonna make it you know. So anyway I'm super super happy that I can show you this palette because I received this as a gift from one of my besties. So so grateful thank you so much sweetie for blessing me with this and yeah and with all of that being said of course don't forget to subscribe before we go into the video and uh, let's go and hang out. I'm going to take you back in time to my makeup application time which is like in the middle of the night because that's when I do my makeup apparently and uh, yeah and just hang out with me and listen to the story and I hope you'll enjoy and with all of that being said let's just jump right into the video okay sweeties welcome it's early <laughs> it's very very early but I want to do my makeup for me personally right now when I'm filming this it's Friday morning and I want to look pretty for the day. Okay, sweeties, for that, of course, you know, we're going to use the pickle palette. And I always have to remind myself that now I have started to film intros again. So you know already the look. It is kind of really, really, really irritating <laughs> that you know already and I don't. And I have to do the work to get there what you know already. It's kind of crazy. So you live in the future, kind of, you know? So anyway, let us go in. I have an idea. Let's see how it works. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, the famous last words. Okay, I'm using my new favorite primer, which is the one from Be Perfect Cosmetics. And uh, let's go right in and see what we can do. Okay, this is of course the palette that we're working with, the Pickle Palette from uh, Sugar Drizzle. Okay, so I have worked with Sugar Drizzle already beforehand with the Panda Bear and Cup Palette, which I have here. <laughs> this is how she looks. Okay, the inside is a little bit messy because it has uh, sweat a little bit, this shade here, the the pressed glitter shade, but never mind that, this is the monochromatic, kind of monochromatic palette, or let's say like it's, you know, it's this color story, obviously. Okay, sweeties, um, if I have to, and if I feel like I want to, I'm going to pull in this black, okay? Just so you know, but I'm going to stay within one brand. But I'm not sure yet, I just want to give myself the option. All right, so now let's go in. I think I'm going to start with Tickle My Pickle. <laughs> tickle My Pickle, like seriously, these shade names. <laughs> so, so cute. Okay, and I definitely want to tell you a story. Now, sweeties, I believe, that there is someone out there who needs to hear this story today and um, because it is all about hope it is all about a new start and the chance of always being able to have a fresh start a clean sheet of paper you know and i do believe no matter if you are christian or jewish or whatever other faith or no faith at all i think this is a message that our souls need no matter if you are religious in any way shape or form the the feeling that there is hope and there is a new beginning and yes tomorrow is a new day you know so that is a story that i want to tell you and um, I hope you will find it amazing too because I heard this story on my Yom Kippur which we just had that is in my faith the Day of Atonement, it's the holiest day of the year and it is basically spent fasting and praying which in Judaism when we say fast it is not drinking and not eating and when we say praying it is actually <laughs> It is so like super long prayer services. Now, I have seven children, so I cannot attend like the whole stretch of the services. But this year was very, very special for me because I, and I spoke in, in uh, previous videos about this, I actually emerged from my baby bubble this year when it comes to um, services for the first time. And I actually started to go to services again. And that was for me an, the most amazing thing, the most amazing thing, like regaining some of my life, you know, something that is super, super important to me, which I kind of had to sacrifice there for a while because of having, you know, seven kids in nine years. What can I say? <laughs> so anyway, during one of these services, I, um, I heard a speech and the person who spoke, uh, told a story. Now, I don't know where this story came from, um, so I cannot give credit to whoever wrote this story or whoever experienced the story, or I have absolutely no clue, so you've got to forgive me. If you know the story, if you heard it, if you know where it comes from, feel free to drop a comment, of course, in the comment section and let all of us know. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the story because by the end of the story, I was sitting there sobbing. I was sitting there sobbing, and good thing I had no makeup on on Yom Kippur because that's not part of that day you know so I I was just freely sobbing into my prayer book and I was the happiest person ever I I don't think I've been that happy in a very very long time like in that moment you know Yom Kippur was an amazing day for me thank God so anyway uh, let me go into the story because it is truly an amazing story and I hope you will enjoy it too while I'm trying to do this makeup <laughs> okay as far as I remember this story starts by um, being in I guess in a train in a train I guess in America I assume that this story plays in America but I I don't think it matters honestly okay so we are now in a train it is super super full and there is a super disheveled and kind of agitated and nervous man standing there in the corner somewhere and then there is a guy who is sitting in one of the seats and he at some point he says to this disheveled guy do you want to sit next to me 
which is already amazing because I wouldn't do that. I would probably think, please, you don't sit next to me because this is going to be scary, you know. But whatever this guy in the train said, please come sit to me, sit next to me. Why don't you sit down? Now, this disheveled guy who was looking nervously out of the window um, and all of this will be important. So... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just mentioning this so you know it is going to be important because it sounds stupid when I say he was nervously looking out of the window. But, you know, you will understand at some point. Um, he said, no, I cannot sit down, I cannot sit down. So then uh, the other guy who had been sitting there, he said, why not? Can I help you? Is something wrong? Because obviously something is wrong with this guy, it, the way he looks, he looks like a street person, whatever, you know? So then this guy said, I know I cannot sit down. I have to be able to look out of the window. Okay, so this person who was sitting there and who was trying to help this guy was probably thinking like, okay, <laughs> issues, you know, but fine. So they started talking and uh, basically the disheveled guy, he started to tell the story why he cannot sit down, why he has to look out of the window. Now the story starts and now we're going to go back in time and I'm going to go back in the palette and I'm going to also use uh, Dr. Pickles and I'm going to try to uh, deepen up this look. Let me just find a Maybe I'm going to try a bit of a, a smaller packing brush because I don't want this to get too overwhelming because I want this to be like more in the crease, more down here. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's go back into the story. So this disheveled guy, he started to tell the story. He said that he basically was a single child of a family, husband and wife, normal family, and he was kind of the computer nerd kind of a guy, you know? He was always sitting there playing computer games, being very, very um, interested in stuff like this and not doing um, much else. And the parents at some point got very, very worried about him, maybe also annoyed that he's not the normal boy who goes and plays football or whatever outside or basketball or whatever, who meets friends because this guy was always sitting in the basement in his room and being stuck on the computer and not doing much else. So anyway, um, the parents at some point said, why don't you go out? Why are you not like a normal child? Whatever, you know? So at some point, this guy, the boy, um, discovered some kind of computer secret or something and he developed a microchip and got super rich and he had a partner together with him and uh, they were you know um, hitting it off earning millions and millions of dollars um, with whatever microchip or with whatever they did they developed something that had to do with computers and it was super super successful now the boy grew up he met a woman he brought it home to his parents and he said um, I'm gonna marry her the parents said to him in private sweetie don't marry this woman she is in for the money she wants to basically you know <laughs> she wants the whole package but like really the whole package uh, when it comes to all your dollar bills you know let me just switch the brushes because I want to go into that first shade again uh, which one maybe this one Let's see. Um, yeah, so he was very, very upset. And he kind of said to his parents, uh, you guys never loved me. You are always against me. You never want anything good for me, whatever, you know? He was very upset. He took it super personally and, uh, and he left. He stormed out and he, you know, he left. So very, very uh, hard, painful situation, of course. And he didn't look back. So he married that woman and um, he had a child and lived for a while. And for a while, everything went well, according to, you know, how well it can go when you have a, a break like this in a family. And, um, and then at some point, I think his business partner, I hope I'm not messing up the story, I think um, the business partner betrayed him 
and he um, sold the microchip or he stole the microchip or something like this. So basically the bottom line is that the whole company broke down and he lost all his money. So what happened obviously, <laughs> what happened usually or what happens usually in, in cases like this, at least in Hollywood movies, but probably like 95% of the time, the wife left, took the child, she left, maybe she even went with with the business partner i have no idea i, I don't recall that right now but she left and uh, he lost all his money he had to sell all his beautiful i don't know houses and whatever so he lived a while off that and then at some point he had basically only what he has on his body and he was living on the streets you know so that is in short basically the story of that guy all right so um and then at some point he was sitting on a park bench and he was crying and he was eating stuff from the garbage and whatever and then a, a person sat down next to him at the at the park bench and um or maybe gave him a dollar or five dollars or whatever and said um you know go get yourself some proper food and this guy who had given him some money he said to him um can i help you you know do you do you need to talk about it whatever i don't know if there are people like this actually honestly who would go and sit next to a homeless person and say can i help you is that is that something that happens? I would be scared. I would be scared, honest, you know? Okay, now I'm going to cover my cut crease and I hope I can do this while I'm talking because I, I don't know, have I ever done this while I'm talking? I don't know. So the guy who had given the homeless person some money, he said, Can I, can't you like contact your parents? Don't you have family? So uh, the homeless guy said, I have broken contact with them. They must hate me by now. After all the things I have said to them, they must hate me. After everything I've done to them, they must hate me. I cannot do this. You know, I'm alone in the world. I'm an only child. My wife has left. I have nothing left in this life. All right, so the guy who had given him some money, he, he highly encouraged him to, to reach out to his parents. He said, why shouldn't they forgive you? You know, just just try, because what's, what's wrong about trying? Worst case, you know, basically you get confirmed what you feel like now, but there is a chance that they will take you back, you know? So anyway, um, the homeless person apparently reached out to his parents and now we're switching back to this whole situation where we are in the train and the disheveled guy he is talking to that person next to him in the train where he basically he cannot sit down because he has to look out of the window okay so he is basically on the train ride back to his parents house or back to the the city where his parents live okay so apparently and this is now what he then told the person who was sitting there and um, who had offered him the chair next to him um, apparently the house of their parents was close to the train tracks and I guess the backyard or the, or the front yard or whatever part of the property of the parents could be seen from the train all right so um, and he had made an arrangement with his parents does this look good? I hope so. Okay, he had made an arrangement with his parents that he is going to, on that and that given day, at that time, with that certain train that arrives in that city at that time, um, he's going to be on that train. And if he sees that there is um, a white flag on the oak tree that is next to the house, which he can see from the train. Then he will get off from the train at the next station and he's going to come home because then he will know that he is welcome at home. Okay, now, next <laughs> next shade. Let us just, is, isn't that a cool story? Wait, you will see, you will see. I'm just quickly going to swatch these shades so, you, so I can see a little bit better of what I'm getting here. Okay, so this is a little bit darker. This is the shade in a pickle. This is a fried pickles and this is dill pickles. This is so, so cool. I'm going to take this for the very inner part of the crease and um, not the crease, the, the lid and also for the inner corner, definitely. And then we also have this one, which is, <sighs> this is a uh, pickle juice. 
wow <laughs> okay i have no idea i just want to i just want to stay like this for the rest of the day <laughs> what am i gonna do what am I gonna do though? Wow. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with this one first. That was, I think, in a pickle. Let me just quickly wipe my hands. Okay, I'm going to go in to these shades uh, without anything on my brush. I'm just going to see how they work just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is in a pickle. That is definitely a duochromy shade. It kind of has a shift between green and I wanna say purple, maybe. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, okay, so we are back in the train together. We are approaching that city where um, the disheveled guy used to live with his family and we are basically looking out of the window and that is the reason why he needed to be able to look out of the window because he needed to see that oak tree. Okay, so now the guy who had offered him the chair next to him also got up, stood next to him and they looked out of the window together. Okay, so we are getting closer to the property and you know what the guy saw when he saw that oak tree? There was no flag, there was no white flag in this oak tree, but the whole tree was covered in white banners the whole tree there was not just one flag I'm gonna cry seriously the whole tree was covered in white banners which means yes child you can come home you can come home we've been waiting for you you know so there you go this this touched me so much you know this touched me so much because this is the message that I personally need to hear today. You know, I need to know every single morning that I can come home, you know, that it's not too late. And no matter what I did or what I said, yes, I can come home. There is always a home for me and there is always a safe place for me. And there are always open arms for me and there is always love for me, you know, so yeah. And now I'm ruining my makeup. <laughs> but do you see, do you see how beautiful this story is? You know, after everything that Guy did, after everything that Guy went through, after thinking that he knows better, after telling his parents that they've always hated him and that they never meant anything good for him and whatever, they covered the whole oak tree in white banners. And that is now coming back to Yom Kippur, um, that was the message of Yom Kippur, you know? This is what, what, what Yom Kippur is all about. Now, if you're religious or not, you know, whatever it is that brings you that safety or um, this feeling of coming home, so you substitute whatever you want. But for me, it is, for me, it is that. This is for me, you know, this is coming home. Okay, this is the shade Pickle Juice. Um, and I felt such a, this was such a beautiful feeling, such a feeling of relief and of, of happiness to know that yes, there is this space where I can come home. There are, God is bringing out the white banners for me today and every day, you know, and I needed that so bad. I needed that so bad because sweeties, I don't know if you've noticed but maybe you have seen that my face has gotten bigger again and everything. I am back in my struggle with my eating disorder big, big time. I don't know if it has ever been as bad as it is right now, honestly. And you know that I'm very, very open about this whole issue here on my channel. So if you're new here, don't be surprised because I'm very open about not being perfect. Okay, so, um, and for me to hear this, that even after having a bad day or after having a bad week or in my case having bad months, um, yes, there is hope because this is what I need, you know? I personally need to hear that there is hope every single day because otherwise it is so easy to just give up and to get lost, to get lost in this life, to get lost on the train tracks. But you know what the most important thing, what the person who spoke in our synagogue, I don't know even who it was, honestly, um, the most important thing was not even that 
God is putting out the white banners on the oak tree to stay in the picture, he said the most important thing is that you get on that train. You know, because the banners are out anyway, you know, like speaking now in the in the sense of like God putting out the banners. God always has his open arms, but we have to get on the train in order to see it and in order to to get there to um, to, to get to that station to get off the train. You know what I mean? I was bawling my eyes out. I was bawling my eyes out and um, I was loving it, you know? So anyway, I need to finish this look because I'm starting to be ridiculous here. <laughs> this is taking so much time. Okay, so I told you I will put a dill pickles uh, at the inner part of my lid, which is this one. Wow, but, but this story is just unbelievably beautiful. I hope I didn't mess it up too much because I'm known to just be very jumpy when I'm telling stories and not, like, I'm not so good at this, you know? I'm also messing up every single joke in my life because I just cannot tell stuff like this. So I hope I didn't mess it up too much. I'm just um, switching to a concealer brush because I need it to be um, a little bit more precise here because I don't want to mess up the clear cut crease line here. Um, but these shades look beautiful and they, they pick up super nice on the brush, I have to say. So, wow, this is so, so cool. And I didn't even need to go into the black of the uh, Panda Bear palette. Yeah, but this is the story, sweeties. This is the story. And um, maybe you maybe you can understand or maybe you also saw because I was obviously tearing up and I'm not making up stuff like this. You know, this is not fabricated. Uh, this is the way I feel and this is how I run my channel, okay? I'm not trying to be something or someone or feel something here on camera that I'm not. I hope you you can see that in me, that this is, this is real and this is how I felt it on the day when I heard this story and how I still feel about this story because I think this is a message that we all need in our lives to get on the train so we can see that the banners are already out, the table is already set, it, there is not even a guest room in that house. It is our room, you know, it is still there. It has never been taken away. So. I need to get off camera, sweeties. Okay, I'm gonna quickly finish this look and I'm gonna be right back with the swatches and of course the review part of this palette, sweeties. Seriously, I need to get off camera. Okay, my lovelies, here we are, of course, with the finished look and the finished styling, which you know already from the intro. <laughs> okay, sweeties, this is how the look turned out. Let us zoom you in so you can have a closer look. And then, of course, as always, I'm going to also tell you what I did while I was off camera and while I was trying my tears and trying to kind of get it back together because seriously this story has touched me so so much and I wish I could just have someone tell me this story every morning because it is it is giving me so much hope you know it is so much hope and really I need hope I need hope every single day and I do believe that that is something that we all need you know the feeling that we are loved the feeling that we are welcome the feeling that there is hope that there is hope every morning a new hope you know so yeah before I start tearing up again I just cannot help myself here <laughs> here we do have the swatches and I kind of really really have to say that this is such a beautiful cutesy little palette so so well executed and also the performance was of course super nice I did use all the shades in the palette and I hope that you were able to see the shift in the shadows so I want to say that this is the only shade that is maybe the most the, the most leaning towards a normal shimmer but I do feel it does also have like a light blue shift maybe you could see it maybe you don't maybe I don't know but it does have a, a slight light blue shift and this one of course is this beautiful like eggplant shade which is absolutely stunning and it also has kind of a bluish shift to it then you have this one which is the lightest shade in the palette it is kind of a pink it is kind of a yellow light green kind of a shift 
lifting thing. Then you do have uh, this matte, of course, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And then you do have this shade, which is also shifting uh, something like green and this shade. You know, this, this is the shift. Um, it's beautiful. And then, of course, a more olive leaning shade, which is also matte. Okay. Uh, I could gush. I could really seriously gush about this, like seriously. Okay, now uh, let me tell you what I did to finish the look. Actually, while I was trying to get myself together, I decided I'm going to pull in the black after all from the other palette, from the Panda Bear and Cup palette. And then I thought, ah, oh, shame. I wish I could just manage to get a little bit more depth and a little bit more definition just with this one. So what I did was I actually traced the line of the cut crease with this one you know because uh, basically here I put already that same shade here and I kind of just along the line of the cut crease I sort of um, created a frame around the lighter shades that I had used already on the lid itself so that is what I did and of course in the inner corner I told you already that I would have wait this shade sorry pointed at the wrong one okay so I have this one of course in the inner corner and also at the inner part of my lid and then I also have it under my eye basically at this part here and then what I did was I have this very very close to my lash line I have a dark blue on my waterline and then I blended it out with this one okay so that is what I did and I also used this shade here as a highlighter in my face like all over you know because it's beautiful it's just really really stunning yeah so that I think is all that I did and I'm in super love with the performance how this worked out and I'm very proud of myself that I resisted the urge to pull in the black because I kind of really like this and that is really the only thing if I were to change something about this palette I would probably take uh, this shade out and put a darker matte in, like a, like a super dark green, you know, because that is just, you know me, you know me, if you're not new here, you know that I'm just always putting dark mattes everywhere, <laughs> you know, so anyway, but even, even like this, it is so, so beautiful, and I have seen beautiful looks with this palette already on Instagram, but I think I can measure up, it's a beautiful look, like seriously, you know, and we used all the shades, so I can actually give you an opinion on the performance of all of them, and they all performed super, super well but that is not really a surprise because also my shades here in my Panda Bear and Cup palette also performed super well also by the way the pressed glitter formula was super super nice in this palette yeah so anyway that is that I'm I'm in awe I'm in actual awe of this palette it's super super pretty and I'm so so glad that I have it um it's a huge enrichment of my of my collection and of my wealth of experience and I'm so so glad that I also got to share this story with you today and I hope that you benefited in some way from this. I know there are people here who are Jewish, I know there are people here who are Christian, I know there are people who don't follow any religion but are just uh, okay hanging out with me and listening to what I have to say because you guys know that I never try to convince anyone of anything. I'm just living my life here and I'm sharing my life here and that is my most important thing really what I want to do with my channel. I just want to share of what I'm doing, of my experiences, of, of my makeup skills also and about my passion, about makeup but also about my life, about my feelings, also about my flaws and my failures and the things that I'm struggling with like my eating disorder which is is completely and completely out of control uh, has been triggered by all kinds of different things a couple of maybe two months back and um, ever since I have not found my footing yet and that's why this message fell on such a fertile ground this message in this story you know because it is so important and nothing super bad has to happen in our life it does not have to come to that in order for us to get on that train you know because we still have the room in that house it's ours, you know, and the banners are on the oak tree, always, you know, we do not have to wait till our life falls apart to go back home, you know, and that is something that I just so appreciate for me personally, and I love this, it gives me a purpose, and it gives me a place to come home to.
you know? So anyway, that is that. I hope you did enjoy this. Of course, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Please feel free to also check out my description box because all my makeup of today and of course also the link to Sugar Drizzle will be there. Besides that, of course, all my discount codes that I have with different brands and everything, please feel free to check it out. Yeah, and besides that, if you're new here and you like it here, feel free to check out my channel and my social media, see what I'm up to, see what I'm all about and then subscribe to my channel or subscribe first and then check out the other stuff <laughs> because, you know, why not? And uh, come back for my next video, which is going to be super soon. And up until then, looking forward to having you back here. And yeah, go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.